Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm St. R. Edwards. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. So we're going to continue on in the personality quiz, and we're going to cover the topics and information from pages 432 through the top of 438 in this video. So if you have any questions or anything, I would revisit those pages and even maybe rewatch this video, but definitely make sure you check up on the book. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we're going to do here is we're going to prepare and pass data from the questions VC to the results VC. We're going to calculate the answer frequency and we're going to figure out what our user's most common answer is in this lesson. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a property called responses over in the results VC um, of type um, answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to say var responses and it's going to be of type answer. Uh, like I said, it's going to be an implicitly unwrapped option, optional, which is that what that exclamation mark represents. And it needs to be that way because once um, the information is passed to the view controller, it needs to be able to access this information, the responses, um, whether it's uh, empty or not. So I'm going to hit Command S to save that. Go back over to the Questions VC and scroll to the bottom of your your app, and we're going to start typing. Make sure you're outside of all of the um, the other you know the methods like uh, for me the funk uh, next question. Um, method is up and so I'll make sure I'm outside of that um, but still inside of the confines of the view controller of course this view controller class itself and so I'm going to start typing prepare for segue and that's the one we want we want the one that says UI storyboard segue so I got that and we're going to say if segue dot identifier and we want to put two equal signs to compare because we're not setting something equal to something we're comparing it to something so you use two equal sounds for that case and we're going to say results segue because that's the name of our segue that takes us from the questions view controller to the results view controller if it equals the results uh segue we want to do a curly brace and this is what we want to do so we want to do something if it does so we're going to say let's results view view controller equal um, segue dot destination as we're going to downcast it force cast it to a uh, results VC and that's okay because it is in fact a results uh, view controller that we're going to and then we want to say um, results view controller dot responses there we go and we're going to say equals chosen answers all right, and so at this point, um, I'm going to set a breakpoint here, which is on the last line. That's what you want to do, um, just so we can test out and make sure that everything um, is right. Or, you know, everything corresponds and updates, you know, the way we think it should. And I'm going to drag this up so you can see what I'm talking about here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and build a run and by hit Command R. And um, in the console or the debug area, you're going to see that it stores all of our questions or all of our answers. So I'm going to hit start quiz. And I'm going to select uh, corn for my first one. And I'll say, um, I'll say sleeping and eating for question number two. And then for question number three, I'll say I uh, love car rides. And I'll hit submit answer. All right, so um, we've got the green breakpoint thread that popped up. And what I want to do now is if you will hit the step over button, the step over button is this curved arrow that's over the line. If you'll hit that, it'll go to the next one, which will show us all of our chosen answers. Because right now, as you can see, um, it, it's up, but it won't give you the right responses. So let's do that. So let's hit the step over button. If you scroll down here at the very bottom, you'll see um, the chosen answers. And let's see what I selected. I don't know if you did the same thing, but you didn't have to. Um, but so for me, so yeah. So for the first one, I selected corn. That was the single stack view. All right. Um, and that corresponds to a turtle. Uh, the second one, I put sleeping, which corresponds to the cat. And then I, I did another one, which is eating. And that corresponds to the dog. And then on the third and final question, I selected, I barely noticed them. And so um, that was the turtle again. So 
in that case I would be a turtle in this situation all right so we know that it works and so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that a little bit and to get rid of a breakpoint all you got to do is click and drag on it and go towards the the editor section and it'll delete it all right and so I'm gonna go ahead and stop that and the next thing we need to do is we need to start working in our results view controller all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna click on the results view controller and we need to create a way to calculate our our function our um, results so I'm gonna create a function called calculate calculate uh, 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 calculate personality result all right so we got that and we want to also call that in the view did load method so we got it there and we need to add some add some content to this so uh, everything will work out like it's supposed to so we're going to say let frequency of answers and this is going to be of type um, animal type and it's going to be of int so this is going to be a dictionary and this is going to be an empty dictionary for now all right so we want to declare or initialize that and then we want to say uh, let response type equal and we are going to say um, this is going to be of uh, responses dot map, and we want to do two curly braces there. And we want to do a dollar sign a zero, and we'll say dot type. All right. And so what this is this what this does is it goes through the different um, responses um, and gets out because we're only concerned with the types. So for each of them, for each of the different answers that we chose, all we're concerned with is if it's a dog, cat, rabbit, or a turtle. So that's what this does. So it's mapping through all of that. All right. So I got that going. And then what we want to do is say we want to go through. We want to iterate through this, so we're going to say for response and response type. We want to say uh, frequency of answers response equals frequency of answers. We'll say response zero not plus one. All right. So what does this do? So as we're going through this, as we're iterating through, I need to make this a bar. My bad guys, so that should have been a bar and not a let. That's what that error was. All right, so as we're going through the, so as we're going through our response types, um, what this does is it basically, um, so if an answer, if an animal type is already in there, it's gonna increment it by one. If not, it's gonna add it to the collection. That's basically what it's doing. All right, and so for our next thing we need to do in here, we need to we need to determine um, the we need to determine the frequency or or the answer sorted. So we need to sort everything out. So so let's just go. Uh, we'll say let uh, frequency or frequent answers sorted, and we'll say equals. Uh, say so sorted by that's the only one if we'll hit enter we'll do um, pair one and we'll tab over just dot and do pair two and then for our code we're gonna say we want it to return pair one greater than pair two uh, pair one dot value greater than pair two dot value all right, and so in this situation, um, so for instance, if uh, if in our case, if if we had you know um, turtle was uh, selected twice, so turtle would be 
you know, it'll be turtle and then it'll have the number two right by it. So we had two answers that corresponded to a turtle, but then we had cat. So in this case, it'll go through this situation to where the, you know, this pair dot value and, you know, would be the turtle for the first one. And then, the you know, the cat, which only had one response. Um, in that case, um, it'll be true in this situation. So um, it'll know that the turtle is greater than the cat. But if not, um, it'll reverse it. So so if in, so if you were if you reverse the situation to where the turtle only had one response and the cat had two responses, then it will give us false because it's a bull, right? So it'll say false and it'll change it over and it'll give us the cat first, all right? So that's what that um, method is basically doing. Okay, and so the next thing we need to do is we need to, we need to determine the most frequent answer. So let's do this. So we'll say let most common answer and we'll say equal uh, frequency of answers uh, dot sorted and then what we want to do is we want to do uh, two curly braces again. That's for space, and we're going to say um, uh, dollar or zero dot one, and then we'll be greater than one dot one. All right, and then we'll say dot first exclamation mark dot key. All right, and so here. Um, so yeah, so this is going through, this is going through all of our answers, um, our frequency of answers, and is making sure it's uh it's putting them in descending order. All right, and so the last thing we need to do is we need to update our results, our our, our result labels, and we don't have the labels yet, so we need to create those. So I'm going to hold down Option and click on Main Storyboard, and in my results screen here I want to make sure I get that right all right good so I'm going to click and drag from from this top label which is going to be uh, the uh, the result label itself or the you know the animal type so I'm going to say I'm going to call this uh, result label I spell that right no, I did not spell that right. Label, there we go. So result label, I'm gonna hit connect. And then from here, the bottom one, I'm gonna control, control click and drag and I'm gonna click uh, result definition. All right, I'm gonna hit enter. And I'm going to close out that by hitting the standard editor button. And so the bottom one, I'm gonna say, um, <clears throat> So we're going to say result label dot text equals, and we're going to say um, U R A some string interpolation. We're going to say most common answer um, dot raw value, and then we want to say result definition dot text equals. Uh, that'll be most common answer. Um, dot definition. It's as easy as that. All right, and so um, where do we get that? Uh, the definition, you know, so that came from the question data, All right? So if you go to uh, question data, is this the definition right here? All this stuff. All right, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit Command R again to run our app to see if everything worked out right. All right, so let's see. Start quiz. I'm going to hit steak. I'll say eating and sleeping for this time. And then I'll hit I love them. And I'm going to hit submit answer. All right, you are a dog. So there we go. So it did work out. Um, you know, a few more things left in this in this lesson, guys. Um, thank you guys for sticking around with me and learning. I hope you're getting some type of value from these lessons. Uh, if you are, please make sure you like the videos and make sure you subscribe and tell a friend, tell a foe, um, tell a best friend, tell a... Just kidding. Uh, but anyway, this has been St. R. Edwards with Swift Coding for Everyone. 
Thank you guys for watching me. Happy coding to you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Y'all take care.